hey it's a preacher and uh, I figured it's probably time to give you an update on my surgery and while I'm doing that just give you a little walk around the garden maybe do a little garden tour I won't give you a lot of commentary you can just look around uh, today is Thursday I had the oblation on my heart Monday morning early and I had to stay the night I got out Tuesday around noon or a little afternoon anyways the uh, cardiologist said that everything went as planned and uh, this is my second oblation he did see some gaps in there that were allowing the I don't know <laughs> the synapses to fire at the wrong time and so he filled in those gaps and said that the procedure went you know as to be expected I'm actually recovering a lot better than I was the first time that I had uh, the oblation so I'm not nearly as sore this time as I was the first time and I'm not uh, I'm not as bruised see I wasn't on blood thinners before I was on blood thinners when I went into surgery and they they took me off two days in advance but your blood's still thin and man the inside of my groins are just black and blue the first time my arms were black and blue and um, anyways I haven't been this way this time I'm not been nearly as bruised um, I'm not nearly as sore um, everything's just went well the recovery has really gone um, as good as could be you know expected I guess you would say and so I want to thank you guys for asking about me and checking on me and sending me messages and commenting and that means a lot to know that you know people care about you and they want to know about your well-being and they're praying for you and uh, so anyways I just wanted to tell you guys that I made it now did it work it's gonna take three months to know if it'll fix my AFib and so what if what they tell you is they go in there and AFib is where one part of your heart's trying to beat before it's supposed to and therefore one side of your heart is trying to beat when the other side should be pushing blood in so it's, it's out of rhythm and so what they do is they go into that little part that's trying to be the boss that shouldn't be the boss and they burn a circle around it and they they carterize around it and that's called ablation well when they go in and do that inside your heart your heart's all screwed up now it's inflamed it's it's had a bunch done to it and so it basically um, I don't know it just basically makes your heart kind of freak out for a few days and that's to be expected I mean nothing like this is normal for your heart but over time your heart should settle down and it's not the burning that actually stops the the AFib they say it's the scarring so you have to give your heart time to scar over basically I guess is what I'm trying to say and then once it scars over then you can say okay now we'll know if it works and so I'm basically just uh, supposed to take it easy the rest of this week got my wife out here weeding the garden we just put some miracle grow on it this evening we haven't put any miracle grow on it this year we decided to bump those tomatoes up so that's basically uh, the game plan is take it easy this week and then um, next week I can start doing some kind of physical exercise I'll preach this Sunday and uh, then next week I'll start being a little more active if you will so things are going well the gardens doing well we've been eating a lot of cucumbers a lot of yellow zucchini the onions are starting to fall over so uh, we're fixing to start pulling onions the blueberries are coming off I've been eating blackberries and blueberries every morning for breakfast and uh, our little flock of chickens that we hatched we hatched 21 we've still got 21 let me give you a look in there those are a mixture of a little bit of everything I call them Arkansas yard birds some are silky some are bannies I think there's some Egyptian bloodline in there and uh, I can't remember what all maybe some Dominecker I don't remember 
Let's go over here and pick us an evening blackberry and we'll wrap up this little update on my surgery with that. Uh, blackberries are my favorite berries. My wife picked them this morning, but I still see a few in here that are big enough and probably ready to eat. I'll take that one right there. That's a, oh, yeah. Just pulled off in my hand. That's a good looking blackberry right there. <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? Man. Mm. I know not everybody likes blackberries. Let me tell you how to eat them. Blackberry, each one of those little berries in that cluster has a seed in it. If you start chewing that and trying to grind that down like you would a ham sandwich, all them little seeds would get caught in your teeth. So instead, if you get a ripe one that's soft like it should be, I just smash it with my tongue and I never bite down on it hard. And you get all the juice and you swallow it. Mmm. Let your tongue do the chewing on a blackberry. Go ahead, try it. You can thank me later. Thank you guys for thinking about me. For watching this video. I'm going to go inside and prop my feet up. And I'll see you on the next one.